country is testing its laser weapon that could change the face of battle. Chinese satellite was recently seen beaming down green lasers over the island. Xi controls the largest military force in the world. The cost of conflict with China could be Armageddon. The United States of America is under attack. Not by missiles, bombs, or drones, but by a more subtle and sinister weapon, a Chinese laser. The attention of the US government has been brought to a recent attempt by China to infiltrate the US through laser technology. This laser, which has been detected by several satellites and ground-based observations, is capable of penetrating the atmosphere and reaching American soil. But what exactly is the purpose of this laser? Is it a scientific experiment, a military test, or a covert operation? And how can the US defend itself from this invisible threat? Join us as we take a look at this strange Chinese laser that invaded the American skies. Earlier in 2023, an alarming event unfolded high above the Hawaiian skies. A telescope camera situated on Moana Kea, Hawaii's tallest mountain and one of the world's premier astronomical observation sites, captured a mesmerizing sight, a series of brilliant green lasers streaking across the celestial canvas. This unexpected and somewhat eerie light display, often linked to the iconic green code seen in the Matrix movie franchise, unfolded on January 28th and was meticulously recorded by a camera operated by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. NAOJ. Then, again, in May of 2023, a strange image was captured in Chile of what looks like a laser beam that caused a blazing fire in Santiago. However, the video was later debunked by Chilean authorities. They explained that the beam was either a lens flare or an added effect, and that the explosion was caused by an electrical transformer blowing up due to strong winds. But unlike the events in Chile, the latest green lasers above the US skies have left astronomers and space enthusiasts puzzled. And so, they went on to investigate the source and purpose of these luminous beams. At first, NAOJ suggested in a YouTube video that these mysterious lasers could be attributed to NASA's ICE-SAT-2 satellite. ICE-SAT-2, short for Ice, Cloud, and Land Elevation Satellite 2, is a remarkable Earth-observing spacecraft with a primary mission to meticulously map and measure the Earth's surface in intricate three-dimensional detail. Its primary objectives include monitoring changes in sea ice thickness and assessing the health of Earth's forests. At the time, people thought that the Advanced Topographic Laser Altimeter Atlas, which is one of the ICE-SAT-2's key instruments, was responsible for emitting these green beams. However, while the connection to ICE-SAT-2 seemed plausible, there remained a sense of mystery surrounding the nature of this laser light show. Then, on February 6, NAOJ updated the video's YouTube description with an unexpected revelation. NASA had conducted an investigation and confirmed that their ICE-SAT-2 satellite was not responsible for the captivating green lasers observed over Hawaii. Instead, it was highly probable that a Chinese satellite was the actual source of this phenomenon. The updated description quoted Dr. Martino Anthony J, a NASA scientist involved with ICE-SAT-2 Atlas stating that the lasers were not generated by their instrument, but by others. Dr. Alvaro Ivanov and a team of researchers conducted a simulation to trace the path of the satellites equipped with similar instruments, ultimately leading them to identify the Chinese Daki-1 AEMS satellite's ACDL instrument as the most likely culprit behind the green laser display. This revelation added an intriguing layer to the story sparking discussions about the activities of various nations' satellites in space and their impact on observations on Earth. These events unfolded in a climate of heightened tensions, marked by a recent incident where the United States reportedly shot down a balloon that China claimed was intended for civilian research, but was suspected to be a Chinese spy balloon. The incident unfolded when members of the public in Montana spotted an unusual object in the sky. This airborne device had floated into the US from Canada and had made its way into Montana's airspace, setting off a chain of events that led to a diplomatic dispute between the United States and China. 
it marked a rare instance of direct conflict between the world's two foremost superpowers, something not seen in recent years. US officials say that they had been closely monitoring the balloon and tracking its movements for several days before the incident came to public attention. This level of vigilance and surveillance reflected the seriousness with which the US government regarded the situation. In response to the escalating tensions, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken made the decision to cancel a planned diplomatic trip to China. This move was not taken lightly, as diplomatic channels are often crucial in resolving disputes and maintaining international relations. Chinese officials expressed their regrets over the balloon's trajectory, but strongly asserted that its purpose was not espionage against presumed American targets. The Chinese government was keen to emphasize that the balloon had been engaged in a different mission altogether. However, the situation took a more significant turn when the Pentagon confirmed that they had executed a mission to shoot down the balloon. This action was carried out at the explicit request of President Joe Biden, demonstrating the seriousness with which the US government viewed the matter. The Daki-1 satellite, which is suspected to be the source of this recent incident, was launched just a year ago. Remarkably, its mission closely mirrors that of NASA's ICESat-2, as it's primarily designed to monitor atmospheric pollution using laser technology. The satellite's capabilities, as outlined in a 2021 press release from the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, are impressive. Daki-1 can monitor various facets of pollution, including the levels of fine particles known as PM2.5, as well as pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and ozone. Furthermore, it's equipped to measure carbon dioxide concentration in the Earth's atmosphere. The agency stated that China intends to develop more Daki satellites for environmental observation in the future. But if this is the true and only purpose of the Daki-1 satellite, why is China trying to monitor the atmospheric pollution in the US? Isn't it supposed to be monitoring pollution in its own country? In 2006, China overtook the US as the world's biggest emitter of carbon dioxide, CO2, the most abundant greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. By 2019, just before the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, China's greenhouse gas emissions had reached a level that was nearly 2.5 times higher than those of the United States, which had historically been one of the largest contributors to global emissions. This substantial increase in emissions was due in part to China's rapid industrialization and urbanization over the preceding decades, which drove significant energy consumption and the burning of fossil fuels. What's particularly striking is the scale of China's emissions when measured in terms of CO2 equivalent. This metric accounts not only for CO2, but also factors in other greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide, converting them into CO2 equivalents based on their global warming potential. In 2019, China's emissions reached a staggering 14.1 billion metric tons when calculated using this method. This accounted for more than a quarter of the world's total greenhouse gas emissions, highlighting China's pivotal role in the global climate equation. In contrast, the United States, while still a major emitter, was responsible for 5.7 billion tons of emissions in 2019, representing 11% of the world's total emissions. This placed the US as the second largest emitter behind China. Following closely were India, responsible for 6.6% of global emissions, and the European Union, contributing 6.4%. So one would think that the Daki-1 would have more use in China rather than in the US. This is why some experts doubt that Daki-1 is purely for scientific purposes. They argue that the laser could also be used for military or intelligence purposes, such as blinding or damaging US satellites or collecting information from US soil. They point out that Daki-1 is operated by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, which is a state-owned company that also develops rockets and missiles. They also note that the laser was detected over Hawaii, which is home to several US military bases and facilities. The US government has not officially commented on the source or nature of this laser, but it has expressed its concern about China's activities in space. 
China's growing presence and capabilities in space have been the subject of international scrutiny. The US has expressed reservations about the nature of China's activities beyond our planet's atmosphere. Among the concerns is China's alleged testing of anti-satellite weapons, which could potentially disrupt or destroy crucial satellite systems used for communication, navigation, weather forecasting, and military operations. Such actions, if confirmed, could not only jeopardize global space assets, but also undermine the delicate balance of space security. Additionally, there are fears that China's advancements in space technology may extend to the development of space-based weaponry, capable of targeting not only satellites, but also other spacecraft and space stations. This prospect raises significant security questions and challenges for the US and its allies. As nations increasingly rely on space-based assets for everyday life and national security, protecting these assets from potential threats becomes paramount. Whatever the motive behind the Chinese laser, one thing is clear. The US needs to be on alert. The laser poses a serious threat to the national security and sovereignty of the US, and it could have devastating consequences if it is not stopped. The US government must take immediate action to identify the source and purpose of the laser and to counter it with appropriate measures. The US cannot afford to let China dominate the sky with its mysterious and menacing laser. What do you think about this issue? Let us know in the comments section.